Yeah, we're doing well. Um, our last meet against Colgate especially, you saw some times really start to drop. Um, that was our last kind of tune-up before Zippy, so I mean, we've had, we've had a pretty good dual meet season so far. We lost a couple close ones, but um, we're looking to turn that around for the spring semester, and Zippy will really give us a kind of a rating of where we're at as far as you know, championship, championship season, champion style meet. That's really the only, um, like our dress rehearsal for Max, really the only other meet that we have that's a three to four day meet with you know, a bunch of teams there to kind of see how we're doing. I'm the only senior left, so it's kind of like, I don't know, kind of falls on my shoulders to kind of be like the, the old guy around showing the new guys how it's done. Um, so yeah, with a lot of, we have a good upper class though. Uh, we have a lot of juniors in here um, and they're really kind of helping me out trying to keep the freshmen and sophomores, like they're still new to it. It takes a while, especially for freshmen, to adjust to the training we do, uh, the different types of classes they have to take, the schedule and everything. So I think we had a great transition this year from our freshmen coming from high school into college life, um, seeing how it's going, their transition into dealing with, you know, we swim for four hours a day some days, and with class, study hall, things like that, it can be a lot. So we've had a good upper class um, with kind of guiding the underclassmen uh, as they come into college and see what college swimming is really about. Um, the season's been going good. Um, we started off a little rough with like losing a couple girls for the girls team, but that really brought our team together and we realized that we need to step up in individual races and together, so it kind of brought us all together a lot better, so we performed a lot better. Like We've been swimming very good. We've had a couple rough meets, but that's just because we're, you know, you're worn out, you're tired, you're practicing two times a day, but in the end of the day, we're giving it our best and I couldn't be prouder of how our team's doing right now. Basically, we, ex we expect good times. Like, I know from the past, I'm a junior now, so my past two years at Akron, like, I've swam best in season times and I know, like, everyone enjoys it. it our, it's a team environment, like, we pump each other up, so we all get good times. Like. Like I said earlier, the facility is very nice. You're going against top teams, so it helps us push ourselves and go fast. I mean, that's the goal to go fast, go your best time, so you're preparing yourselves for Mac. It's our second biggest meet of the year after Max. This is, um, we're kind of rested, we're ready to go for this weekend, and there's gonna be some big teams there this year that haven't been there years past. We have Oakland coming, Cleveland State, so we're gonna have some big teams that are ready to swim fast too, and it'll give us a reading as to where we stand as far as those other bigger, they're bigger teams than we are. So we have to kind of bring it this weekend, try and get into those A finals, see how many finals we can make, see how many people we can put on the podium, uh, things like that. Especially for the freshmen coming in, it's really good to have this as like, it's very similar to Max. It's four day competition, three day competition. You're swimming prelims and finals every day. So if you haven't, if you're not used to that, it's really good to have that before Max and have not have Max be the first time you've ever gone through that experience because it does take some getting used to. It's, three days of straight swimming.